Hi everyone, it's Angie the Craft NATO, and I am here today thanks to my friend Mindy who put out a video late last week, or maybe it was out over the weekend, I think it was Saturday, and she had a series of questions. Uh, someone had tagged her to answer a series of questions, and she in turn tagged me. So this video, I'm gonna answer those questions that were in that tag, and I am going to pass it on to two more lovely people who you will know who they are, because it's in the title of the video. Um, but just uh, just to get started, I'm working on my Chuck Pinson for the Chuck Along. I am just Chuck, Chuck, Chucking away. I've got um, the whole bottom row complete, and I started working up the side, and then I decided to come back and do another row down here, or another square down here on the bottom. I don't know why, just because I'm a weirdo, and I like to bounce around. So let's uh, get right started into the questions. So the first question, and there's only five, so we're not gonna be here forever in a day, and this is not gonna replace my normal weekly whip and chat, so I'm still gonna do that. I'm gonna try to get on a schedule with my whip and chats just so that I'm being a little bit more, uh, a little bit more routine get in a little bit more of a routine and I'm thinking that my whipping chats from now on are going to be on Thursdays so you can look out for that tomorrow um today is Wednesday obviously if I said I'm going to do it tomorrow um I think you guys all know the days of the week I don't have to point that out for you anywho let's get into the questions so the first question that was asked in this tag was, what was your favorite diamond painting that you've completed? And I'm gonna have to answer two of them. I have two absolute favorite diamond paintings. The first one would be Artemisa by Ennis Guerrero from Diamond Art Club. I absolutely thoroughly enjoyed doing that diamond painting so much. I've talked about it in the past. I've showed it in the past. Um, Y'all, if you've been around a while, you know how much I absolutely loved it and do love it. I don't have it hanging up anywhere yet. Um, I really want to get it hanging up somewhere. Uh, that's one of my one of the, my goals uh, before the end of the year is to get that framed and hung up. But it's quite a big one. It's like. 56 by 103 or something like that. So it's quite a big one. And um, I'm afraid that the method that Jeff and I have been using to frame them is going to be a little bit too heavy just because it's so big. So that's why I've kind of held off on, um, on doing that one quite just yet. Uh, the second, my second, and, and not second favorite as in it's second to Artemisa, but my other favorite diamond painting that I've completed is The Sweet Life by Chuck Pinson. I did that one last fall, I believe, and it is hanging beautifully in my living room, and I look at it every day, and I just, I think that the charting um, on that was just spot on perfect. There are so many little details that you can see there's like smoke stacks coming from the, or smoke coming from the chimney of a far off cabin that you can make out that blends in with the, with the stuff in the background of it. And, you know, you can see the, um, the shingles on the roof of a, of a far off, um, barn and silo. And it's just really, really, I love it. One of my favorite diamond paintings. I don't know if that one is currently available on Diamond Art Club, but definitely that was the favorite, my two favorite diamond paintings that I've ever done. Um, running a close second behind those, and I'm just going to mention it because why not? I've got you here. Um, I actually did a square drill 30 by 30 mandala that was from a budget-friendly site. I believe it was from DP Clubs. Yeah, it was from DP Clubs, and it was only like $5.35, and that thing turned out so nice. That has got to be my second favorite diamond painting 
that I've ever do ever done. And I've done a lot of diamond paintings and a lot of, you know, higher end diamond paintings and a lot of really big ones, but that one ranks right up there. So those were my favorite diamond paintings. So I didn't really, I kind of cheated a little bit and answered that question and gave you a ranking, but that's okay. I, I, I'm gonna cheat. So the next question is, who is my favorite diamond painting artist? Well, I think that for most of you, you would know who that is. Actually, that is going to go right along with my favorite diamond painting because I have two favorite diamond painting artists and they are both, could they couldn't be more different from one another and their style of art could not be more different. Um, my absolute favorite is definitely Chuck Pinson. I love all of his pieces, uh, even the ones where I'm not, you know, so much like the tropical ones. I, I don't have any of those. I'm not so much into that as far as um, it's not necessarily something I would display or hang up, but they're still beautiful and they're still gorgeous works of art. And just over the course of the past uh, couple I don't know, has it been a couple years now that Chuck Along's been going on? Um, or the is this Chuck Along 4 that we're in? So that means this has been two years? I don't know. In any event, um, watching the interviews with him that Mindy and uh, Maritza had on uh, Mindy's channel during the Chuck Along, he's just such a great guy. He just seems like such an authentic individual. And somebody that you'd want to sit down and have a coffee with and get to know. Um, he just seems like a really, really down-to-earth great guy. And that's not why I like him as an artist. I like him as an artist because I think his art is absolutely gorgeous. Um, and I love landscapes. I've always been a big fan of landscapes. Landscapes are probably one of, you know, my favorite genre as far as diamond paintings go or any art as far as that, as far as that goes. Um, I'm a big, I'm a big fan of landscapes. So I do like his art is my favorite. My other favorite artist would be the artist that uh, did Artemisa, which was my favorite diamond painting. And that's Ennis Guerrero. Um, and she licenses through Diamond Art Club. I don't, I'm not aware that she licenses her art as diamond paintings through any other company. I've never seen any uh, from any other company, but then again, I haven't really looked. But um, she has such a, she, she has very dark images um, and it's a very distinctive art style. She has done, um, she's the artist that did Rococo Dream. She did Key of the Savage Garden. Uh, she did Artemisa, and she did the new one that just came out last Saturday, the Lunam Pelagrosum or whatever it's called. I'm not thinking of the name correctly, but it starts with Lunam, I know that. I did, of course, order that. Yay! So I will, and uh, UPS says it's supposed to be here tomorrow, so be on the lookout for an unboxing of that because... I will definitely be getting straight into that box as soon as it gets delivered. No matter what I'm doing, I'll stop what I'm doing and come in and record that unboxing just because I'm so excited to see a new one from Ennis Guerrero. Um, so she is my other favorite artist. I really wish that um, Diamond Art Club would do more stuff from her. I, um, I think that there's a lack in the diamond painting world of artists that do art like hers and um I think that people do like I know it's not for everyone and I know there's a lot of people who think that it's too creepy or too dark or um not something they're interested in but you know there's a style for everyone and I really dig the um just the mood of her diamond paintings. So I'm a big fan. So her and Chuck Pinson are my two favorite diamond painting artists. All right, moving right along. Uh, let's see, let me put these drills down before I look at the next question. Um, 
What diamond painting do you look forward to starting the most? Well, that is an easy one. I told you guys when I did the unboxing for this that this was the diamond painting that really got me um, to where I wanted to... For a very long time, I did only very small diamond paintings, um, 30 by 40s, 40 by 50s. Um, I might have done like a 60 by 8, you know, 60-ish by 80-ish. Um, but I had never done anything larger than that, and I was frankly very, very intimidated by the thought of it. But I absolutely fell in love with an image that I knew that I had to diamond paint. And it was out of stock forever. We're talking months it was out of stock. And I waited and waited and waited for it to restock. And when it finally did, it of course sold out again right away. But I was able to get my hands on it. And I absolutely cannot wait to get started on it. And that is Christmas Morning, which is a Diamond Art Club uh, diamond painting. And I'm not sure who the artist is or if it's like a stock photo or, you know what I mean, or a, a not a stock photo, but a licensed image. Um, I'm not sure if there's an artist. I think it might be McLean Stu no, McNeil Studio, I think. Don't quote me on that. If um, you're interested in seeing what it looks like, it is on, you can look it up on Diamond Art Club's website. Uh, Christmas morning. It is a monster canvas. It's it's huge. It's over a hundred centimeters by like 70 some I think. It's very very big but that is the diamond painting that was my it was my unicorn. It was the one that I sought after for a very long time and I waited for a long time to get my hands on. I finally do have it and I am just anxiously awaiting the time when I can get started working on it. So, and that time is fast approaching because Christmas is going to be here before you know it. So that's the answer to that question. The next question is, what event are you most looking forward to? You guys are going to know the answer to that. I am most looking forward to November. Yes. And why I am most looking forward to November um, is twofold. One is that um, I'm really looking forward to it because it's the very first time that I will be involved in co-hosting an event. I will be co-hosting it with Mindy from Mindy's Diamond Moment. And uh, she was sweet enough to ask me if I'd like to co-host co that with her. And I couldn't be more excited. I have plans and ideas in my head and I'm just really excited and I hope it goes well. And I hope that I will be able to continue to host diamond painting events um, after that. And so that's what I'm looking forward to the most and the reason. And the other reason I'm looking forward to that one is because it's going to be the kind of event where you're not going to have to have like a big expensive canvas. You can get a gnome diamond painting from Amazon, from any of the budget friendly sites, um, from just about anywhere you can find a gnome diamond painting. And if you want, um, I could even um, let me know if you'd be interested in knowing, but I could even do something, a uh, short video where I put up, show you a bunch of gnome diamond paintings that I have, and I could put the links to some gnome diamond paintings in the description in case you would like to order one and participate. Um, that's going to be starting November 1st. So you've got a while, you've definitely got more than ample time to order even from, you know, an overseas site and get it in time for November. So that those are the two reasons I'm most excited about that. Kind of selfish reasons, I know, but hey, what are you gonna do? I'm being honest here. So the very last question is, what are my diamond painting goals for the rest of the year? Now we could be here forever and a day talking about my diamond painting goals for the rest of the year, what I actually get done, that's quite another story and quite another answer to the question. 
my goals are um, number one to host to co to co-host that event in Nove November. Um, I'm it's going to be something new to me, so it's going to be a bit of a learning curve. You know, it might be a bit of a challenge depending on um, what all is involved because I honestly don't know yet. Um, and so I'll be kind of taking Mindy's lead and hopefully, and I know she will, um, help me and uh, get that off to a smooth um, start and uh, going smoothly. And so I, that's my goal is to successfully get through that event. Um, my second goal for this rest of this year is I do plan to finish Christmas morning. I want to finish it before the holiday season. So I want to have that finished by November so that I can display it for the holiday season. I don't want to finish it, you know, like on December 22nd or something like that. I want to have it done well in advance so that I can have it out as decoration for this year. So that is, that's, that's a really lofty goal, especially with all of these other events and all of the other diamond paintings that I have going on. I really want to get that done. And that kind of ties in with my third and final diamond painting goal for the year. And that is, I need to finish all my gifts. I have a lot of gift giving uh, ideas for diamond paintings this, for this holiday season. And I have a lot of um, Christmas gifts that I need to do. Um, I need to do, I can tell you guys this without anybody knowing who it's for. So I'll, I'll, I'll just tell you, I need to do Frosty Forest Friends I from Diamond Art Club. I need to do Santa Face from Diamond Art Club. And I need to do, um, I need to finish Christmas Truck from Craftably. Uh, so those are all three going to be gifts for Christmas. And so I definitely have to get those finished before, not just before the end of the year, but before, you know, before Christmas, preferably, <laughs> unless I can get wrap somebody a box and say, this is an IOU. I don't know how well that would go over. I mean, I'm sure it'd go over fine because who's going to be rude about that, but it wouldn't, it wouldn't look really good to to hand somebody an IOU for Christmas. So those are my goals um, for the rest of the year. I am not even being, I'm not even gonna delude myself into thinking that I'm gonna be able to get my Chuck Pinson done here. Oh, the other one I have to finish before Christmas, and this has to have to happen, is um, Anticipation of the Day Ahead by Chuck Pinson, which is another huge Chuck Pinson square drill canvas. I think it's, <clears throat> excuse me, I think it's 93 by 70, I want to say, um, or 96 by 70, I'm not sure, but it's quite large, and it is one that um, it has to be done for Christmas. It's a Christmas gift for my mother. She doesn't watch, so I can say that. Plus, she, she picked it out. She knows she's getting it. So I definitely have to get that done. So that is the end of the questions that were in this tag. And now the rest of my um, task for this little challenge is I need to pick two other people, two other creators to pass this challenge on to so that they can do a video and they can answer these questions. So I have thought about this and um, the people that I am going to say tag your it to are Claire from Diamond Painting Claire. Um, if you're not familiar with her channel, check her out. Um, and then also Lori from One Fun Diamond Painter. So Claire and Lori, put your thinking caps on and get your cameras ready and make a video. Um, I challenge you to do these questions and pass it on to two more people each. Um, by the end of it all, it should be every creator out there will have made a video with, with this tag. So thanks, Mindy, for, and I say that, I don't know if I say that with sincerity or, <laughs> no, it was fun. It was not a big deal at all. So 
Thanks, Mindy, for um, tagging me and having me do these questions. It was kind of a good time, kind of, you know, talk about things that you don't necessarily always talk about when you're doing a whip and chat or whatever. Um, so, and to Lori and Claire, again, that's One Fun Diamond Painter and Diamond Painting Claire. Um, go check out their channels and see if they follow through and uh, put up their tag videos. I know that I will be keeping my eye out for them. So I will talk to you guys tomorrow when I, actually you might see a video yet tonight. Uh, you might see one more unboxing from me tonight if I can get, I, there's something I have to finish on it before I can put it up. Um, if I get that finished, you'll see one other video from me tonight. Otherwise, I will see you guys tomorrow uh, when I do my unboxing of the new Ennis Guerrero uh, diamond painting. And then I have a huge, huge order from either FG Normal or, or Fan Celts, but it's going to be one of those marathon unboxings. It just came in today. So I will be getting that up sometime in the next few days as well. So thanks uh, as always for watching and I will see you all in my next video. Have a great night. Bye guys.